Greetings, Dave Dickinson here from AstroGuys.com, and I thought I would tell you about the upcoming total solar eclipse on March 20th that is going to be crossing the Arctic just north of Europe. This will be the first total solar eclipse, the only total solar eclipse for 2015, and one of four eclipses that's occurring this year. There's two solars and two lunars. That is one partial that's going to occur later this year, partial solar and one total solar eclipse. Now this eclipse is kind of interesting. It's been dubbed an equinox eclipse. It actually occurs about 13 hours, 10, 13 hours prior to the March equinox, the vernal equinox from the Northern Hemisphere. And it's gonna be crossing through the North Atlantic between Iceland and England, UK, and north of Norway. It's gonna be crossing, the only place it's gonna make landmark is over the Faroe Islands and over the Svalbard Islands up north of Norway in the Arctic and there are some eclipse chasers that are already heading up that way. It's going to be very low altitude and it's going to be kind of interesting because this eclipse ends just about at the North Pole and there's been debate about does this eclipse occur at sunrise or sunset because this is technically when the sun rises for the first time on the equinox during the eclipse is kind of very interesting. Thought I would make some interesting, it'd be interesting to make some simulations of this eclipse from various locales along the path of totality. Uh, totality is going to have a maximum duration of 2 minutes and 47 seconds just north of the Faroe Islands and the path width of this eclipse is about 460 kilometers wide and all of Europe is going to see a deep partial. The further south in Europe in uh, along North Africa you are, the, the more shallow a partial, the less percentage of the sun you're going to see eclipsed. But I thought it would be interesting to make some simulations of this eclipse seen from Earth and space in Starry Night uh, to see it with the ISS, where the ISS would transit. There's an interesting possibility you could see the ISS transit the partially eclipsed sun from southern Spain. We're going to be looking at that and the possibilities for that more as we get closer to the date because uh, the, the ISS orbit evolves. Uh, it's really going to be hard to tell exactly where the path is going to be exactly on time. And we're going to be looking at views from the high node and Proba 2 spacecraft as well. So it's going to be an interesting eclipse and this is only the second to last one before the big eclipse in 2017. So if you're in Europe and you're in that area, be sure to get your eclipse glasses on and make sure to watch this eclipse. Enjoy.